Hey, it's your moment today from Language Met today, and today I'm going to go over some irregular verbs. Now, irregular verbs are verbs that you don't have to put an ED at the end to show past tense. So, let's get started. Now, the first set of words that I'm going to go over, I'm going to also go over the past participle because they're so, um, the words just sound so different, but um, I just basically want to stick to uh, the present and the simple past in this video. All right, first set of words, go, went, gone, go, went, gone. When do you want to go? Present. I went yesterday. Past. It's gone. Past participle. So, you see, completely different sounding words when um, for the past tense of go. So, go, went, gone. All right, next set of words. Get, got. I got something for you. Pass. I got something for you. Past tense. What did you get for me? What did you get for me? Present. Right? So, get, got. Next word. Verb. <laughs> win. Won. Um, win. Present. Won. Past. I want my team to win. I want my team to win. Present. My team won. Pass. My team won. Alright. Next set of words. Something that's useful. Hear and heard. Hear and heard. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Present. Yes, I heard you. Yes, I heard you. Pass. Alright. Um, next and final word is verbs um, are feel and felt. Feel and felt. So, feel is present, felt is past. All right? I feel good today. I feel good today, present. I felt great yesterday. I felt great yesterday, past. All right? So, these are some irregular verbs that are very useful in the English language. Uh, those um, that want to obtain fluency, um, got to know the irregular verbs. Just... Just something you gotta know. Alright, this is Omar Metre from Language Metre. Hopefully this was helpful. Until next time.